I'm assuming most of you already know about the American poet Walt Whitman. There are a few lines in, 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 in Walt Whitman's poem, Song of Myself, that stand out which hint at who we really are as human beings. Before I get into what those lines are, I first want to get into, the subject, into a subject that most people would probably be familiar with. As human beings, we like to accuse each other of every wrongdoing or every other thing that's bad. Sometimes we deserve it. Sometimes we don't. Sometimes we cause so much, so much kind of suffering in the world that we don't know how to respond to it. Before we get into the topic of suffering, we first have to talk about how we are as human beings on a micro level. We wake up in the morning, take a shower, get dressed, and move on with our day. Most of the time, we have a good day. And most of the time, we have a bad day. Either we do good things, like take, like help take out the trash, or save money for your child, child's college future. But sometimes, we cause bad things, like cut someone off in the line at the store, or get into a verbal fight with one of your loved ones. Now, hold on a minute. Did you notice that contradiction in what I just said? I said... That most, of, that most of the time we have good days, and most of the time we have bad days. Obviously, that's contradictory, because how can we have mostly good days and mostly have bad days at the same time, the sen same sense? Think about it for a moment. Think about it for one moment, though. While it is contradictory, it is, in a sense, true. We contradict ourselves as humans daily, and we go against our own ideologies and our own practices. Most of the time, we don't notice it, but when it becomes apparent on a grand scale, we point out in a heartbeat. One thing we strive against as human beings is the notion of hypocrisy. Accusations of hypocrisy can be at times warranted and deserved, I grant you that. But, but are all forms of hypocrisy, by definition, bad? Is every single form of hypocrisy equal a corrupt individual or a corrupt group? Are they even real forms of hypocrisy? I would argue that's not always the case. What I mean by hypocrisy, we tend to think of how we preach one thing and do another. A small example of someone, someone thinking of a hypocritical act would be a smoker telling, another, t telling others not to smoke. Some people would say that you're being a smoker and still smoking and telling others not to smoke is in a way hypocritical, in a way that they would they would be correct. It is somewhat hypocritical on a surface level. But looking at this particular example, we would have to see we we would see that someone such as a smoker who, for whatever reason, can't quit smoking, is trying to warn the non-smoker not to end up the same fate as the smoker. These kind of nuances in who we are and how we act as human beings sometimes blind us to the kind of beings we are. Flawed, sometimes broken, but most of the time well-meaning. This is saying to people of all belief systems, whether it's Christian, Muslim, deist, atheist, or whatever. Be whether or not you believe in our God or not, does not change the fact that you are a human being who is flawed, contradicts yourself, and can never be perfect. Never. Not in a million years. We fight amongst ourselves, and we continue to expo expose the flaws of others without recognizing our own. Does, this does not mean that there is an evil and suffering in this world that is caused by the flaws of human beings. The actions of people such as Stalin and Pol Pot are completely indefensible and inexcusable. People who commit such heinous crimes against humanity cannot be defended. I don't doubt that whatsoever. But we should look at those and use them as a way to examine ourselves as human beings. We should use those as a way to be aware of who we are. If we are flawed and we don't contradict ourselves, if we are flawed and we contradict ourselves, what does that mean? What does that mean if we're flawed and we contradict ourselves? Now, this is where I want to bring up the lines Whitman wrote in Song of Myself that I feel expresses who we are and what we ought to be as human beings. The line goes like this. The past and present wilt. And I have filled them, and beat them, and proceed to fill my next fold of the future. Listener up there, what have you, you to confide to me? Look in my face while I stuff the sidle of evening. Talk honestly. No one hears you, and I stay only a minute longer. Do I contradict myself? Very well, then. I contradict myself. 
I am large, I contain multitudes. Now, my questions are this. Do we strive on the past? Do we dwell on it? Do we pretend we are perfect while the other is not? Should we be ashamed that we are flawed to the point we do contradict ourselves? These lines, what, what Whitman is basically saying here, and this is from my interpretation, is that we may be flawed beings. Our flaws as humans should not prevent us from celebrating who we are as human beings. What prevents us from doing that, however, is the fact that we as human beings forget to recognize our own flaws and our own inaccuracies. Once we recognize that, we can embrace the fact that we are not perfect and, we, and that we are flawed beings and, the, and that we are not God. We should celebrate ourselves and recognize that we are one and the same.